What's up there guys, otherwise back at it again for another video, of course we're going to be taking a look at today is the Kingdom Hearts 2 Funko Pop Riku figure going over the paint job, the size comparison, all that great stuff right here, right now, so let's get right to it. Okay, so yeah, yeah, we finally got the boy himself, that of course being Riku over here, so why don't we go ahead and give him a little 360 degree spin, kind of get a good look at him overall, he's got that long lengthy hair, he's got the keyblade, you know, the way to dawn, everything on the figure so far is looking pretty good, you can see the line marks on the hair and everything like that. So so again, when it comes to Funko Pops, there's not really too much to look at, but again, like most Funko Pops, he can go ahead and rotate his head, like so. So why don't we go ahead and take an up-close look at Riku and that paint job. Alright, so here we are now with that up-close look at Riku, and overall, so far, a uh, pretty solid figure. I do have a little scuff mark right over here, but you know, the eyes, the hairs, everything is pretty on point. We go ahead down over here and look at the outfit itself. Uh, it's also pretty good, pretty solid, you know, you got a lot of details going in there. But then when we move on to the hand, mine in particular, oh my god, what is that gray little gap over there? Boy, oh boy, I might have to go ahead and switch out this Riku for another one. But to be honest, a lot of the Rikus were kind of, like, iffy. It was either the outfit was messy, the hair was messy, or the Keyblade was messy, so Riku was one of the figures I definitely had a lot of trouble with, but overall, you know, they managed to put in quite a bit of details to such a small little figurine. Get a look at his shoes, on point, everything, go ahead and take a look at the back of him, got a little keychain over here, go ahead and look at those butt pockets, everything pretty good, pretty solid, not too bad, it's only when you look at the figure really up close and personal that you notice all these mistakes. So why don't we go ahead and do a little bit of size comparison with Riku and some other Funko Pop. Alright, so here we have Riku next to Chip and Dale, and overall looks pretty good together. Now here we have Riku next to Tracer and Naruto, also looking pretty good. Now here we have Riku next to the Kingdom Hearts Funko Pop Pete, and the Heartless figure overall pretty good. Now here we have Riku next to Goofy and Donald, also looking pretty darn well together. And boom, here we go, finally the trio complete. We've got Riku next to Sora and Kairi, the Destiny Island trio. <laughs> <laughs> and they look absolutely fantastic together. I absolutely love having this set. <laughs> this just brings back my childhood right over here. And now here we have Riku next to his counterpart of the Kingdom Hearts Funko Pop minifigure right over here. And they both look <laughs> pretty darn awesome. Like I said before, I'm really glad they gave Riku a pose unlike this. Because they could have totally done something like this. Or with his hand in his pocket. But at least one of them does have the Keyblade. And last but not least, here we have Riku next to my boy Mickey Mouse right over here. So guys, that's basically it for this video. What can I say? This Riku figure is absolutely fantastic fantastic i love the pose that they gave him like you know they could have went with something like super basic like having riku with his hands in his pocket and that's it but i'm glad they gave him the keyblade i'm glad they gave him a little pose of so now you might be wondering what the heck is this orange thing well i had to put this behind my riku because mine is consistently falling and it's super annoying so i might have to switch this riku out for another one so guys what i want to know in the comment section below is you know what do you think of this riku figure do you plan on picking it up and if you could have any kingdom hearts character become a funko pop who would you want it to be and if you aren't already make sure you follow me on my Instagram channel, which is MadSwag12345, where I post all the good stuff, or my Twitter account, which is the same thing as my YouTube channel, which is EdTheWiz. So until next time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say bye, pal, who will see y'all real soon. <laughs>